Now Seems like a good moment to talk. No, he works. no arguing. Just tell me you're well. I... am well. And Minsk? We're working on it. You'll get him back. I owe him a kicking for showing Fig how to throw hatchets. So, this cult. What's our plan? I'm not fool enough to think I can change your mind. But if you're staying, I don't want you taking up arms. There are other ways to fight. Really? Like what? You shame me. In all our hunting, I had put them from my mind. Right. Leave them to us then. If we can't get them past the checkpoints, we'll at least make sure they're watched over if it comes to fighting in the streets. If I have to stay home and babysit, then it's your job to make sure there's still a home to look after. Take what you need, and we'll do the grand reunion when you come back for good. So, lovely as it is to have you back, Mother. Go away. You have work to do. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait, one more thing. There are doppelgangers among the cult. Be on your guard. Huh. All right, then. If you turn up looking for hugs and kisses, I'll be sure to shoot first. That's my girl. Spare me your salutes, little traitor. You walked me right into that ambush. Sorry, Commander. You are my commander, but George promised me pies. Huh. I can't fault your priorities. You'll look after them for me? Can I have a real sword? No. Hmm. Fine. It's peaceful, isn't it? Just a bit. I suppose Never your mother squeezed you out a whole litter just like you, filling the damn city to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> the only moment you're living in is this one. Worry about the next one when it comes. <laughs> Come on, scum, sling your hook already. Yes? beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies, 
A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Society of Brilliance. These preposterous fools love to meddle in underdark affairs. Go ahead. I'm listening. City, you mean, with all its noise, smoke, stone, and bustle? I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support, and that is what you shall have. Still, though, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most. And still it draws them in. The safety of numbers, the promise of civilization, the dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish, I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly and know nature as a friend. There is a balance that is yet to be found. Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. We have a battle to win before any of that.
Go ahead. I'm listening. 